And indeed, taking off the bottom panel reveals plenty of circuitry that can be serviced. And plenty of nasty, nasty looking cobwebs. That's all going to get cleaned out. There's a selector switch I can hit with deoxit and clean. It's a mystery module, and I'm not <laughs> sure what this is. Well, there's a lot of small signal cabling going to it. I'm wondering if this is part of the quad quad channel stuff. I'll have to take it apart and show you what's inside of it later. Uh, here's the tone amp board. A bunch of pots and stuff underneath there. Oh, some active circuitry. A lot of little caps. Those might give me some trouble. Hopefully not too much. That looks like a lot of passives underneath there. There's another switch. I believe that's the uh, speaker selector. Yeah, it is. I was talking about a transistor socket. Indeed, there's a, another 2SD 1111. I'm assuming that's for a uh, larger linear regulator that feeds something in this unit. There's a big board that everything was plugging into. I was talking about earlier. Some selector switches. A nice feel to them. There's all the speaker connections, power connections, signal connections. Definitely going to be a, a lengthy repair because there's just so much stuff inside this unit. Kind of see inside there. I'm really curious to see what's inside that unit. I think I'm going to take it apart.